एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय क्लास यू नो दैट आई एम हेली मिनीसा टीचर एंड जूनियर लेक्चरर ऑफ एल एफ हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज सो इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टेंथ चैप्टर दैट इज फ्रॉम द सिविक्स फर्स्ट ईयर एंड द चैप्टर नेम इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फर्स्ट वी विल गो विद द मीनिंग ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द टर्म कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द टू वर्ड्स वन लैटिन वर्ड एंड दैट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यू with and the another from the english word that is constitute which means to established later the word constitution is widely used to denote the documents containing the principles of governmental organization so this is the exact meaning of constitution now historical background here in this the aristotle who argued for the law based rule and he classified the governments on the basis of legal points only exactly that's why he was considered as the father of the constitution so here the greek also educate the constitutional government with the partially written constitution but in the modern time after the social contract theory here the especially after the locks that is natural theory of rights and limited government become popular here so here the america had its first written constitution in the modern world in 1789 here the france also has its constitution in 1791 but here after the second world war almost all the democratic governments had adopted their own written constitution likewise india also adopted written constitution which come into force on 26 january in 1950 get it so all these are the historical background of written constitution now we will see the essential features of constitution in these here the constitution are drafted by the eminent persons and delegates and the representatives of the present states exactly so here the every constitution will have some essential features in tune with the socio cultural and political and historical conditions of the state exactly and they are preamble and clarity and in cooperation of fundamental rights and brevity and flexibility and the permanence and at last the explanatory so all these are the essentials of the constitution now we will see the classification here the political scientist classified the constitution into two types and they are the written constitution and unwritten constitution here in written constitution again the rigid constitution will come and in unwritten constitution here the flexible constitution will come okay now first we will go with the written constitution here the written constitution is formulated and adopted by a constituent assembly or a convention exactly so it comprises the several principles and rules of the government in a written form or in a document form so here the constitution of india is an example of written constitution and here the american constitution is the first written constitution in the world get it here and it was adopted in 1789 here the american and indian constitutions are the best examples of the written constitutions after written constitution now we will see about the unwritten constitution here in this unwritten constitution is one those provisions are not written in a single document so here it includes the several customs and traditions which are manifested in the form of the law exactly so this type of constitution is prevalent in britain so the constitution of britain is the best example of unwritten constitution and the laws in britain are formed on the basis of the customs traditions and the usage which often the represent the constitutional rules exactly now come to the difference between the written and unwritten constitutions here the constitution in the world which is neither completely written nor unwritten so here all the written constitutions grow and expanded if they are to endure and serve their purpose exactly here the differences are found between the written constitution and unwritten constitutions are so after the differences now we will see about the rigid constitution here in rigid constitution is one those provisions cannot be changed easily 
In this system, the constitutional amendment methods are different from those of ordinary law. Exactly. So here there will be a special procedure for the amending the provisions of the rigid constitution. So here the rigid constitutions will have the feminists due to the special procedures of amendment. Here the constitution of the United States is the best example of the rigid constitutions beside some developed states like Australia and Switzerland have such constitution. So all this about the rigid constitutions. Now we will see about the flexible constitution. Here the flexible constitution is one of those provisions can be amendment easily. So it requires no special procedure for changing its provisions exactly and it can be amended by the authorities by adopting the some procedures of ordinary law. So here we don't have find any differences between the ordinary and the constitutional laws. So here flexible constitution were prevalent in the ancient period. Here the Britain is the best flexible of unwritten constitution. So by this we have completed our chapter 10 that is constitution. Thank you.